what's up guys i hope you all are doing well so uh i just got into the zone and decided to live stream this session i hope you'll enjoy it and uh yeah let's get to it
spend five minutes on every beat and go to the next. Um, I guess my five minutes on this beat has elapsed. So go on to the next beat. So the plan is to make about four beats tonight. Hey, what's up everyone? Okay.
five minutes at the last. So let's check on some old beats. Let's see what's up. Mm. Let's check on this one.
to the next sound. Let me see what I did on this one. for the most incomplete sound oh, okay
some rough archives here, yeah. real.
What's up guys, um, I see your comments, bless up man, we're here to have fun and create, you know, no long talk, just create, create vibes, create the unreal, and um, I mean, huge shout out to you guys, because um, um, I would say I appreciate you guys, like I appreciate you all, you know, and uh, thanks for sticking with me through this. So, yeah. So for this particular beat, I'm trying to see what I can create, like a melody, like different melodies, yeah. And um, yeah, thanks, man. Official top D, bless up, man. Um, let me see what melodies I can borrow from here. So I like to put on glasses. So um, yeah. Let's see. Mm 
over here I've seen something I have seen something let's check this one out so sometimes I often say beats with weird names you know just depends on how I feel that day let's see
need crazy key see what it sounds like yeah because i'm feeling this vibe <laughs> Shout, don't give me now. They are not dead. Before I said they are dead, but they are no longer dead. They are wounded. Wow. 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 Uh, I'm sorry. I need to leave the key this way because my ears are already used to the old key. So. Permit me for a bit. perspective now so let's bring it down a bit <laughs>
guys are the most exclusive viewers right now. Like, you have no idea. If you have earphones, you, you're going to enjoy this, so... For a me as in the me off at the off beat before the loop returns to one. That is the problem. It is weird. We can't change things like that. Even though we might consider it, but for now we're building, we're building, we're building. <laughs> I don't even know what to use this guitar for, but I mean, let's check some things out. Let's see what to do with it. Turn the phone to its former location. Don't worry, it will come back to its former location after we play the guitar.
sick. This is sick. Like this is this is sick. This is sick. Sorry, my alarm. This is sick. I'm trying to I'm trying to tweak that uh that guitar. Let me see what I can play on it. Let me see what I can. reverb will do it i don't want to use like some kind of whole reverb uh, i need to get the reverb right before i play this beat okay and the guitarist that is playing it needs to sound like he hasn't been paid yet. You know, when he hasn't been paid yet, he needs to show off, you know, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know. <laughs> For real, but the guitarist hasn't been paid yet. Like, he's very angry, he's not happy at all. <laughs> are not properly quantized but guess what be more of an expressive producer than a machine producer let your productions be more about expression than robotic you know it's like the grids are restricting you from expressing yourself be more of an, of an expressive producer than a robotic producer. So, by ro a robotic producer is someone who gets restricted by the lines on their workstation, you know. For me, it's more about the ears and the mind. So, understand the rules, right? Understand the rules and then break that understanding you have about the rules that is what it is simple you need to first understand the rules right then break that understanding don't let that on that you know sometimes yeah you understand the rules and then that understanding becomes your restriction imagine what you understand now restricts you just look at so the best thing is now that you understand the rules, now break them because now you're in control. So that's what it is. <laughs> velocity is very like very harsh i think somebody whispered to the guitarist that yo they're gonna pay you after the show chill 
Chill, sir. So, for real, drink water. Water is good. time I don't forget oh my god <laughs> see problem <laughs> taking questions i mean I'm, I'm open for all your questions shoot me them questions man let's go um are you using logic or fl yo guess what i'm using ableton how do you know if a beat you're making is a keeper or should be thrown away Yo, no beat is a throwaway beat, right? If you make a beat and you keep it, don't throw it away. Okay, let me let me let me tell you guys something about this particular beat. I need to show you. Look at why this is not a throwaway beat. When I save my beats, I save my I save my beats with dates right i save my beats with the dates that i make you know that i made them all beats matter bad guy <laughs> okay so check this out yeah that day i made about one two three four five beats so you see i named them first 
first so let me show you guys something so this is first 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 i mean this is second now look at the dates in front of it 27th of august 2019 that was when i made this beat you see that 27th of august 2019 so i made this beat and then in my like in quotes three with a way but not a way because sometimes just revisit your beats and you realize that oh wow what i did like yo this is a year this is we're already in july so next month we'll actually make it a year this beat was made so if you get me man No, no beat is trash. You know why no beat is trash? No beat is trash because... Your, your dopamine, like your... your um, like what got you excited when you were making the beat is present during the time you were making it. So maybe something switched your mood and then you're no longer interested. So the thing there is... Keep that be and get back to it in like a week. You're going to hear that, oh, wow, that was fire. But one thing one must be consistent with, just keep making them beats. Whether it's fire or not, there are good days, there are bad days. See, this is a, this is a proof that when I made this beat, it was trash. When I made this beat, it was trash, but I kept it. Look at the date. This is 27th of august 2019 you can like you guys were on the live when we were revisiting all the beats like we revisited all like we revisited like six beats before we got to this one i wasn't here to make new beats i was here to re revisit old beats and then we vibe and then we got to this one and then this one just locked all i needed to do was add a few elements and we're, we're good I mean, and you know, it's all vibes. So we'll keep going. <laughs> We are now in Soweto. No. Of course. We already did. There's one on my YouTube channel. His name is Sonki. He's a very, very good artist. Like, you need to check out his music. Do you use headset to mix and master? I use both headset and monitors. Headset and monitors are cool for me. So, let me show you guys something. So, um, this is actually where I print all the ideas that I have. You know, you print all of them. And then I switch to tab to print on this playlist. You know? This is why I love Ableton. I love Ableton so much. Like it, it makes me express myself more. So I'm, I'm recording now. Hey, Clem is good. the hook that's the hook
hot soup. Oh. If not, you go burn your tongue. <laughs> Let me quickly record that hook. Okay. I'm bouncing the tracks and um come export. So when I want to export I want to export this file in Ableton. So I just come here and say selected tracks. So it's going to bounce this region. Oh, it's already selected so i just need 32 bars and then i export then it asks me for a location so i just um i copy this copy i create a new folder here and i hit paste Create new folder. So the beat is going to be saved in this name. And then hit save. So it's splitting the tracks now. Okay. So I I also made another mistake and that was anytime I bounce, you should always save the tempo information. Like the tempo here is um 113 she always save the tempo information 113 so i already know that so instead of me to bounce this file again and waste your time let me go to the folder let me save this first so i've just renamed it as 113 so that when i'm dragging it in i know um the tempo so we're creating a new empty logic project and uh, create. So the tempo information I had, I'll paste it now. 113. So that is before I drag the audio files in. So I go to the audio files that I had earlier. So this is the stems. So we we'll go here and go into logic and drop them in create new tracks all selected files are stems and then drop them in there so boom we have all the stems in here so and um huge shout out to hakim he's the one that taught me how to name my temple or name my files with temple and same with the folders so yeah and that was a very big tip for me okay so uh just like that we have it in here we have the stems so i'm going to record the hook in a bit we have the hook now guys so we are live so and one useful tip this is this is from me to you, right? This is from me to you. DJ Horezi, thank you for for being who you are. Okay. So, one useful tip. Whenever you drag in files into Logic or into any door to record, like stems or anything, reduce the volume first. Reduce the gain. Like, I always reduce the gain by maybe five... So what you're actually doing is you are creating what is called headroom. So when you have headroom, you have that means you have enough space to express yourself. Like you have enough headroom just as it sounds, you know. And you will hardly clip your master boss. That means you you the probability of you making clean music and the probability of you make it because when you make clean music that means you have the probability of making loud music but when your music is already loud before you record or before you you know do anything creative that means you're definitely going to clip your master boss and the music will sound too 
too pushed, too compressed, too um too squashed, you know, it will sound too forceful that because why the voltage is too high. So right now, look at this. What I'm what I've done here by reducing the gain is by the way, this is logic pro. If you're not used to logic pro, I'm sorry. Uh only those who use logic may understand what I'm saying. So I already reduced the voltage by five. So that means now I can record. All right, let's do the recording. <laughs> Is first my recording boss is first Oof. all right <clears throat> baba god bless my fans who they watch this video bless this inspiration bless this idea we don't know how far it's going to change the world but i have faith and they have faith that this song is going to be the biggest song in the world thank you for having witnesses like you guys are witnesses right so thank you for having witnesses to partake in this glory when it happens in the mighty name of jesus amen in the mighty name of allah in the mighty name of the universe amen let's go there My check, my check, my check. All right, I can hear myself. We're recording now. One. Le, pa, pa, le, pa, pa, le, pa. Hey, let me take that again. Pa, pa, le, pa, pa, le, pa, pa, le, 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 le. <coughs> Mm. One, two. One, two. One, two. Papa, le. Papa, le. Papa, le, 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 le. Papa, le. Okay, let's record some more takes. One. Papa, le. See, I'm not a great singer, but we're recording, that's why you can't hear the beat. So I have two more to do of the same thing. One. One more. Yeah, we're good for now. So you guys listen to what we have. Let me listen to it first because this will sound really awkward. Okay. See, the, this idea, this papare idea, is actually not supposed to be done by a very good vocalist. Like supposed to be, it's supposed to sound like, like a, um, like a very sad singer, you know, a singer who, who probably, what may I, what, what, what's like the worst case scenario now? Okay, so they were going for. So this singer is going for a band rehearsal, right? And on his way, he lost his wallet. He lost his wallet and in fact, he has no hope of going back home. Imagine that type of sad situation. And then he's asked to take the hook and sing it well. Oh my God. And he, has, he needs to have the faith 
to do it well. So, um, I'm about to tune the vocals. So, Papa is is cool now. Okay, so I think I I need to take out the kick in the first few bars. Let's see. <laughs> to save i like to maintain some kind of consistency with how i save my files so that i don't uh, confuse anything even if i save it blah 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 consistently save it as blah 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 <laughs> I think we need to repeat this hook. Feels like I need to repeat it. Feels like. It only feels like. I'm not sure yet, but it just feels like. <laughs> now so yes and uh that's it for now we'll save it and we'll come back to it next time I gotta go to bed. I've not slept since, so.
Yo guys, thanks for hanging in there and um I hope you guys had one or two things to take away. Or like jot 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 things down. Huge shout out to you guys man and um I really had fun and I hope you guys did too. Peace man. I'm out.